Okay, so. Um, yeah, so it's been three years. I figured it's, yeah, a long enough time that it might be interesting to do, like, an overall recap of everything. Everything up until now. Um, I will apologize for the weird, uh, like, low frame rate on my camera. I don't really know what that's about, but it's easier. I don't really want to record it and then have to edit it, so I'm just recording it live. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, oh yeah, I'd also suggest that if anyone's watching this to just speed it up now because it'll save you a lot of time because I can already tell that this is potentially going to be long and I'm not going to be speaking particularly quickly. Anyway, so, um, yeah, German. It's been three years, technically, since I started, like, immersion-based stuff. So to give a quick recap, I I don't remember exactly when it was, kind of 2019, I decided that I would, yes, like to maybe actually learn German, like seriously. I said maybe, but like, no. I made like a proper decision that um I really wanted to learn it. I'd always been interested in like the history of it. I read a lot of books about, you know, kind of different time periods. Um, and I started listening to audiobooks and I was like, oh, wow, it sounds really cool when people pronounce the names of like German places properly. And yeah, then I met I met a friend, made a friend from Germany and she like showed me a few like words in German. I was like, wow, that sounds really cool. So for me, it was like the sound of German that kind of caught me. And yeah, so I decided I was like dedicated to, to learn it. Right. So <clears throat> after that, I... Uh, I don't know, a few weeks, I looked up stuff on YouTube, learned like Daddy Das, all the basics, that kind of thing. And then I decided, right, well, I'm serious about this. I'm going to go take a class. And that's what I did. So I signed up for a class in the Goethe Institute in Dublin and went there. And I was like, right, well, this is the beginning of me learning German. And so I did the like A1.1 class. I wasn't mad about the class, um, but I was very enthusiastic, let's say, about language learning community stuff outside of the class. So a lot of YouTube, a lot of like language learning books, like who did I read stuff from Fluent Forever, I think it's Gabriel Weiner, I think. Um, Fluent in three months, obviously. I feel like it's a kind of obligatory thing for people at the beginning of their journey to get through all that stuff and then come out with like immersion stuff anyway so I read all that really was really into it I feel like I spent more time researching language stuff than actually learning which was the problem so I did that for about eight months I didn't do the lessons the classes for eight months I I did the a 1.1 course which was like the half of a one level and then decided I didn't really like it and then I went on to like italki lessons for a bit I didn't really use those very effectively so I didn't really get anywhere. I mean, I was probably like a A1 after eight months. I don't know if I would have passed an A1 exam. Maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway, at some point I was listening to a podcast and I heard someone mention AJAT and I was like, what's that? That sounds intense, but that sounds like really interesting. Um, I'm assuming most people, pr maybe most people haven't heard of AJAT, but it's like, if you're doing immersion learning now, I'm assuming most people have found it either through like Matt vs. Japan, Refold, MIA, that sort of sphere of things. Like before that, it was AJAP, which is specifically about Japanese, but like it didn't particularly matter what language you were learning. Anyway, but that's what I came across and it was very intense, full on. And um, that's what I read. So I read the table of contents of that and I was like, wow, this is it. This is me. Um, It sort of fit how I had gone about things before in terms of all in on one thing. Um, so it fit me pretty well. I already really, really liked like watching a lot of media. So it was sort of easy to just switch it to to German. So over a couple of weeks, maybe two weeks, I kind of slowly switched everything to German. And like at this stage, I did not really understand much, like hardly anything. So what I started doing was, yeah, just switched everything to German. It was sort of still fun. I was like, wow, I'm going to actually like learn how to do stuff um, or to understand things. And I remember very clearly within the first couple of months, I was rewatching, I was rewatching Stranger Things 
and I remember thinking okay I'm understanding about 30% of what the children are saying that's not a lot but I was still enjoying it uh, 30 40 percent maybe so I'd already watched the show it was easy enough to follow and that was sort of the trend of things was that I would re-watch a lot of the stuff I'd already seen um and alongside that I found a pre-made deck pre-made Anki deck so I knew Anki was recommended but I I think I had tried a little bit of Anki before from how it's recommended to be used from I think it's Gabriel Weiner's Fluent Forever and they kind of it says to use Anki and I tried it I was like Ugh, don't want to do this it's a lot of effort um so I knew it wouldn't do that so I just got a pre-made deck and to be completely honest it was fine I got I think I have it I have it open here um I think this is about the one that I used. It was basically a sentence deck, German on the front, English on the back. I remember being very confused with separable separable verbs because I did not understand why this an means this word in one sentence and it means something else in a different sentence. That was sort of just the ambiguity of things that I just put up with. But anyway, I did at the beginning of that deck get rid of that now at the beginning of doing that deck um for the first for the for quite a while of it I was doing like 40 cards a day and they're relatively quick to do it was like this is a very basic meaning on the front what's the English equivalent on the back and I did a lot of that so I kind of got through that deck in five months maybe I don't remember exactly I don't have all the the data and stuff from it anymore but anyway, I did that and then I moved on to doing, what did I do? I tried to do like the intermediate version of that deck, but I got kind of bored, I think. So I used subs to SRS and I just got the subtitles from some of the shows I was watching, put the German sub on the front, put the English sub on the back. Basically the same thing as the deck I was doing before, but with subtitles. So I know the subtitles, the translation is not word for word. So sometimes it didn't really fully get the same thing but you get the meaning and it was enough it was enjoyable I remember I got the subsessor s deck for like big mouth like stuff like that so that was fun and it really just got me into a good routine with Anki that was the main thing and I was definitely learning a lot it was at that stage where it's like you're learning so many new words and you're hearing them so frequently that you're like oh wow it's like really progress you know um so that was kind of cool um and then what next I don't I don't know really I'll go into my numbers just for a bit I know people are interested in like how many hours a day did you do how long have you got you know in total um I'll preface most of this with I feel like I could have used the time I put in I feel like I could have used it more effectively in the very beginning I didn't use subtitles for like Germans if I was watching no I didn't use subtitles no I, d I didn't use subtitles up until a year and a half, almost two years, year and a half, two years. I'm not sure. I think it's in one of my other videos. I didn't use subtitles for at least the first year and a half, um, which I think was pretty good. Um, it just got me really, really used to listening. So I'm going to switch over here. So this is um, one of someone shared this, um, this sheet on uh, the refill discord server. So um, if anyone's interested in finding like tracking sheets, there's <clears throat> there's a whole like channel thing on the Discord server where people share their sheets and it's really helpful. So I can't remember who made this, but thank you. Um, so I started using this about a year ago. I had a different sheet that I used before, um, but I switched to this one. So this one's been about, yeah, since last April. So, um, so yeah, it's been over a year. Anyway. Um, and then I've averaged out like my hours before I started using the sheet. So the numbers um, over here, the totals, they're, that's everything, right? So you can see that I have not done a lot of reading. So 169 hours of reading. That's, and a small portion of that is me reading like subtitled shows. So I watched like K-dramas for a while and I put that in as reading. Um... So the vast majority is listening. So this is Netflix, YouTube, movies, not a lot of movies, but Netflix and YouTube, vast majority podcasts. Um, in the beginning, I did listen to, 
like the ripped audio from stuff I had listened to. I, I felt like this was just a bit annoying for me to have to go and do. Um, and then I started putting like YouTube video mixes on like what I was working. Um, but what I've been doing for I'd say the last two years, yeah, pretty much two and a half. At least the last two years, we'll just say that. Um, I've just been listening to podcasts, that's it. Um, don't listen to, I don't re-listen to stuff that I've watched before. I didn't, I don't feel like I did that for that long. Maybe it would have been more beneficial if I'd done that, but I just couldn't be bothered. Um, so I think one of the, f what was one of the first podcasts? I'm not sure actually. I remember one of the, the podcasts, it definitely wasn't the first one. It was probably like six months into switching to podcasts that I started listening to the, like the Easy German podcast because I started listening to that like around about when it start yeah when it came out I started listening to it so I don't know how long it's been running probably about two years since before before lockdown probably only a couple of months before lockdown it came out and that was just like on repeat on repeat like not the same episode but I just listened to that and then I find a couple of other podcasts I've got a few podcasts in the mix um see if I can bring up any of them um what else did I listen to that I listened to Gefühlte Fakten that was a very good one I still listen to that um another great one is Herrengedeck um the only annoying thing about that is that half of the podcast is only available on Spotify and I have a bit of a beef with the whole Spotify podcast thing the main part the main, well, the real reason that I don't really do it is like I can't track my time on uh, Spotify, so I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to listen to it that much. Um, this the app that I have has uh like time tracking on it. What else do I listen to? Um, they're my main ones. Those three podcasts. So let's see if I can. Will this focus? Hello, hello. Kind of. Yeah. So we've got. Where is it? We so yeah. Not there. It's a great one. And oops. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. Anyway, the what's the app that I use called? Pocket Casts. Yeah, it's fun. And you can go and like view your like statistics as well. Oh god. Sorry. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> um your statistics as well so I find that useful just to know how much I'm listening to um yeah but at the stage where I started listening to just podcasts like when I remember specifically when I started listening to the easy German I I could all I could follow it fine I think at the time that I started it there's heavily stuff that I didn't understand I don't remember exactly how much I didn't understand now but I could definitely follow it it's definitely gotten like way way easier not that it was hard but I think I, I miss less and then the other podcasts I listen to are obviously just like native language podcasts and I thoroughly enjoy them I don't doubt that I miss things there are words that I don't know but at this stage I feel like there's not enough that that would throw me off what they're saying for long enough to not enjoy it you know like I another thing that happened and i um, probably explain this as well is that I think I got so comfortable with ambiguity that I started not even really noticing the words that I wasn't understanding because I was getting the whole picture I wasn't I, I, I honestly feel like I wasn't noticing that I wasn't understanding individual words and I think that was actually quite like quite to my detriment I think if I had been more observant or I don't know what the word is more focused maybe um on the things that I still properly didn't understand I would have made more progress but I feel like I was just so just letting everything wash over which on one hand is 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 fine it means everything was like very enjoyable it wasn't like bogged down with anything um and like my like comprehension in terms of being able to hear words that are being said I feel is pretty good because I spent so much time listening without subtitles and just like, I don't know what you call it, like raw listening, like just audio. Um, so I feel like that side of things is fine, but I do think I would have made more progress if I had been more 
Mm, yeah, just observant, I suppose. Anyway, come back here. Um, yeah, so at the moment, I have almost 2,000 hours of listening and listening being like watching like watching stuff in German, like Netflix, YouTube. Uh, I have 1,300 hours in just podcasts and then 100 and, almost 117 reading. So that's about 3,300 hours rounding up slightly. And I think that average is about five hours a day. I had a few months that were higher. They were six, six hours a day. And then it's sort of gone down the last couple of months. Um... So that gives someone like a roundabout estimate of what I think if you were more intentional and more like deliberate about your like immersion and stuff, you could get to a better level than I am now with the same hours or probably less to be completely honest. Um, So I would say that I could have progressed faster, but I think if I had tried to, I would have maybe like not, not that I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much, but like the reason that this sort of method worked for me was because I don't like doing like the work and that's why the classes didn't work for me and just doing this whole thing it just fit me a lot better so it's it's still really nice that I've made all this progress and have never really felt like I've like been really really pushing myself like everything I've done has been because I've been interested in it and I enjoy doing it like I've rarely would have pushed myself properly to do like Anki when I didn't want to I was in the routine of doing it for so long that I didn't even think about it and then I kind of fell off the wagon with it and I didn't make myself do it because I didn't want to do it um but I still made like quite a lot of progress so I suppose I'll go into now like where I feel I'm at um like I said it's not as far as I think I could have gotten it's pro it's definitely not as far as I assumed I would be at three years when I started because I feel like the expectations that I had were coming from people who had done like very hardcore and very, very obsessed with things. And like I was uh, to an extent, yeah, like this was like the main thing I had to do during like COVID because there's nothing else happening. Like I went back to college last year, but before that, there was nothing else to do. This is all I had to do, but I still never did more than on average five hours a day, which is just seems to be my, like my natural cap for things and I was never like so systematic about it that I got more than that I did sometimes but on the whole we'll say so um I suppose yeah like comprehension and stuff at the moment I f like yeah it's sort of hard to say I feel like my comprehension for most things is like at least 95 percent let's say why is that going in and out um yeah, so we'll say like 95% on, like dubbed stuff is relatively easy. Well, I'll say easy. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. Uh, trying to see your comprehension. I mean, okay, I'll put it this way. If I were to never, if my like ability to learn more language stopped now, I would be re like comfortable with just continuing to like watch and read stuff in German like I have enough comprehension that I can like happily read stuff and watch stuff there's stuff that I miss there's stuff that I definitely miss um but I get enough from it that I really enjoy it um yeah I don't know if there's anything specific I mean like I started um let's change back here so recently um I decided you know two birds one stone let's you know do a bit of programming stuff over the summer in German and I find if anyone's into like programming or that sort of area of things and wants to figure it out in German this channel has like oh my god so so much content like so much content so I want to kind of work through maybe a bit of this series so I'm fine I'm like relatively like comfortable I don't have any problems following this in in German um like they're not talking like particularly complicatedly either but I'm fairly confident in that other YouTube channels that I watch um go in here yeah Alicia Joe if no if, if there's anyone here learning German and isn't already subscribed to Alicia Joe please do 
She's like fantastic, like great, highly recommended. Um, Anikatsun, again, very funny, fun to watch. Um, I suppose they're in Alicia Joe's videos because they're quite like they're well researched and it's like information. There, there are like words that I don't get, but I, I don't feel like I have trouble following any of the stuff, you know. Um, a lot of the words I get, I have a very, mm, I still have a fuzzy feeling for a large amount of words. Like it's sort of, it's not uncommon that I see a word that I've, it's sort of uncommon that I see a word I've never seen before. But the majority of words that I don't fully understand are kind of like fuzzy and they're used in lots of different circumstances. There's still, oh my God, so many words that I just do not know but they're normally not enough, they're not important enough in the sentence that it completely throws me off. Um, but I don't want to give the impression that I have like 99.99 comprehension or anything like that. I definitely don't. It ranges from, I don't know, 95 on maybe a low end to 99, I suppose. It depends on the content. Um, I might be able to get um, a book, actually. Maybe that would be an idea. I've started underlining the words I don't, know in some of the books that I'm reading and then I'll go back and look them up so you can kind of see visually like how frequently I have to look things up um anyway but these are some of the channels that I am subscribed to um again I just watch YouTube for just pure entertainment like I'm I I mean I kind of maybe sentence mine sometimes but like not that regularly and then Netflix this is sort of the stuff that I've been watching what I find is easy to do. I quite like sentence mining from like these Korean dramas just because I have to read the the subtitles anyway. And it's relatively like simple. Um, Yeah, I kind of proper got into the second season of Bridgerton. <laughs> God, I started actually listening to the audiobook and reading the like the novel. Oh, wow. It's oh, it's very problematic. I mean, oh, it's bad. It's it's okay I'll, I'll leave it at that problematic book anyway <laughs> it's a different story um anyway this is sort of the yeah general some of the shows i'm watching my vpn isn't on at the moment so there are some shows that are only available on the german v the german netflix that aren't coming up right now um i was like a catch-up this was actually make sure this doesn't play this was the very first not the very oh my lights changed <laughs> might change that back actually um this was this wasn't the very first this was the second show i ever watched in german that was like a new show there we go so it wasn't me re-watching something the first one i watched was a different korean drama i loved this show it was so sweet and so fun and i remember not understanding that much i think i watched it i watched it dubbed this is one of the few k dramas that's actually dubbed in german i watched the dub of it and i followed enough of what was happening to be like oh this is fun um and then at some stage i went back and i watched it with the subtitles i got more from that because i was mining from it which was actually really helpful and then i think at some stage i went back like a couple of months later and i watched it again i was like oh wow there's full just bits of information that i did not get and I think I watched bits of it again a while ago. I was like, right, well, I'm getting more information. So there's definitely a lot I didn't understand uh, the first, like, one or two times I watched it. So it is nice to see. I can definitely see, like, an increase in comprehension. Yeah. Um, that's sort of it. I've been recently watching The Office in German, which is... it's uh, The Office is a great show, like, regardless of what language it's in. It's very good. Anyway um blah, 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 blah. that's sort of that and then what is next on my list is oh, that's not my list my list is here hours sheets current level yeah so i'll go into like reading a little bit like as i said before i don't read that much i have what like 169 hours in reading which is like really not that much i can see now that um the reading will definitely help i just it doesn't tend to be the thing that i do most um one sec okay yeah so i don't really do that much reading um i like to buy books that's that's a thing i like to buy books and then 
start them. I have so many books that have a bookmark that is never goes past the first hundred pages. Like I used to read a lot when I was younger, but for some reason, not that much. But anyway, at the moment, I have a good couple of books on my Kindle, if it is awake. Um, I do enjoy reading the physical books. It's just, it's a different feeling. So some of the books that I have at the moment is like The Book Thief. I read this when I was younger. I thought it was a good book. Um, I'll just take out some of the ones I have here. Kindle is not waking up. Um, cool, it's restarting now. Anyway, another one, Crazy Rich Asians. I was like, the movie of that was fun. Let's try find the book. Um, this one's actually slightly more difficult to read sometimes. Um, I I don't know. I don't know why it's anyway, it's not too bad. But and actually, I was in um, I went on a trip to Hamburg recently, and I was like, oh my god, I have to go to the bookshop. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be a whole shop full of German books and I won't have to order them online and wait like a week and a half for them to get here. Um, so two of the books that I got, I'll just use the dust cover actually. Um, this is one, so this is one of like the non non-fictions that I got and I was like, ah, it sounds interesting. You know, each chapter is relatively like short. I haven't gotten very far in it. I'm like on page 24. Um, then I also got, because I liked listening to Gefühl to Fakten, I got Christian Huber's book. I don't think that's even how you pronounce his name. Huber? Christian. Anyway, that dude. I got his book and I was like, I, I, I had a look at the, like, test, what do you call it, Probe, um, before I bought it just to see if I could actually read it. And it's, yeah, it's fine. Like, there's still, I wonder actually if I can get this book. Um... Okay, I'll see if I can go through some of the pages and just see, like, how many words I have underlined. Um, see if my camera auto-focuses. That would be nice. Okay. Oh, so. Okay, it's not too bad. I don't know if it's even that clear how many words that I have. But, I don't know, it's sort of nice in, like, a physical book. And then I have, like, notes and stuff that I started writing in um like it, it's a fair amount of words I don't think I have anything written on that page but like yeah like there is a fair amount in this book specifically that I didn't oh, I've lost my bookmark now that I didn't know um because it's just a bit more like literary um so there's more flowery language, we'll say. Um, what else do I have? Reading. Oh yeah, I've got Sophie's Welt, which it, oh, there's dust on everything. Just goes to show how much I read. There's dust on my books. Um, yeah, I've actually gone through like this this book. I've gone through it a couple of times with the audiobook. At the same time, underlined the words I didn't know. And then looked them up. And I think a lot of them I've written down the meaning. Okay, so this has quite a lot of notes in it. If this would give you a sense of like, hello, camera. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how many words that is per page. Probably between like, maybe like four or five. I don't know. But, um see if I hmm. I'm gonna pause this count the words so I'm saving time okay so uh, a little bit of quick research there is that um, a lot of the pages have I have five words underlined now underlined doesn't necessarily mean I have completely no idea what these words mean but it's like I, I wanted to look it up so uh, a fair, fair few of the pages have like five words some of them have none, some of them have one or two, but like four to five words, maybe three to five words on average is probably the average, you know? Um, so I don't know what percentage comprehension that is. I feel like I can read, like when I, when I get a book that is obviously too, too many unknown words, it's not enjoyable to read, you know? It's 
I don't know what that percentage for me is. I know it's been said, what is it, like 98% is kind of required to read comfortably. Um, so maybe it's something around there. I don't know. Anyway, but that's like the reading. What else is there reading? Listening. Um, I've done a little bit of like speaking practice. Um, nothing proper. Um, the most... I mean, I've done some like italki classes and things like that, just because every now and again they're kind of fun. And I mean, it's okay. I really don't feel good about the speaking. I can get my point across. I I don't know how much, like how many grammar mistakes I'm making, making exactly how like unnatural it's sounding. I know that my pronunciation is good. And when I say pronunciation, I don't mean accent. I mean pronunciation of like it is clear what word I'm saying I still obviously have an accent um but I yeah the teacher that I've had classes with a couple of times um I asked her like on a scale of like one to ten um how many like how okay is my grammar you know and I reckoned around a six or seven she reckoned around a seven as well and I was like okay that makes that kind of makes sense um but again I'm not at the stage where I'm confident in what I'm saying if that makes sense there are a lot of a lot of things that I'm not sure on what's interesting though is that I record my italki classes and when I listen back I can hear mistakes so yeah so I, I can hear the mistakes after the fact. I might not necessarily notice while I'm speaking that I'm making mistakes, but I think it's just because I'm thinking too much about like, what do I say next? How do I say it? Um, that I, you know, uh, but like I've had conversations with the like community tutor that I've had. We've talked about like, like one of Alicia Joe's videos about why is the camera keep doing that? Um, about what was it like f uh familiam bloggers and sort of just stuff to do with like kids and all that kind of stuff so we've had like interesting discussions and it's never really been like i don't understand what you're saying that doesn't happen um so that's nice it's like when i need to it's enough to get by like it's more than enough to get by it's just i'm not it's not oh my god calm down it's not where I want to be and I I have a few friends that are German and I spent a day with one of them and we just spoke German the whole day and it was like it was okay I could feel that obviously what I wanted to say was I wasn't able to express myself maybe like if I'm 100% in English maybe my German felt like 60% in what I exactly wanted to say um but we were able to have a discussion for like two hours we were just having a chat about I don't remember exactly and then we just kind of went around some like shops and kind of casually chatted which the casual chat was what I found was almost more difficult because it's like I don't know how to say like oh look over there look at that thing that's a funny like piece of furniture like what's that like it was the offhanded comments that were actually a little bit more difficult which is sort of funny um yeah and I also have a language exchange partner um that kind of skyped with quite regularly over the last two years <laughs> someone outside my window um and she speaks just normal full-on full speed mm. german we'll say um for our conversations for the most part and i don't like rarely do i have a problem understanding her sometimes there's words that i don't get and but it's the same as like when I'm watching something, it's never usually enough to throw me off what the meaning is. Every now and again, I'll ask, like, what was that? You know? Um, God. Camera. Anyway, um, so that's sort of speaking. Um, I also started writing in German a few months ago. And it's been okay. I was sort of initially surprised as to how, as to how much I could express Again, I don't know how accurate it is, but it was interesting. Like, I can do it if I if I want to. Um, again, it's not the same as expressing myself in English. There's still quite a ways to go. 
but it's there I'm not too worried about it I was I was kind of thinking oh now I should work on my speaking but I I'll kind of I'll talk about this more in like the this final section that I um because I thought I should be further now I thought oh I need to work on speaking now that's the thing I need to do but I'm like well I'm obviously still not at the stage with like comprehension that I understand enough and speaking is not that high of a priority for me like I don't I enjoy doing it every now and again it's not something I'm going to be doing weekly or anything like that so yeah so what is my my next section in my notes I have labeled it problems and ineffective hours <laughs> so I think I already mentioned that like my the effectiveness of my hours was not the highest um yeah so I'm gonna try and change that a little bit now I'm getting a little bit more back into Anki and just even just doing some of that like intensive reading I suppose um that'll be something I also want to try get my reading up a bit and uh yeah so some of the problems was yeah that I was being kind of less effective I wasn't for so for so long I was like why why do I have all of these hours but not have the same like results as other people who seem to have similar hours and I realized it's because like I'm not being as intentional with all this stuff like I feel like I'm learning German <clears throat> in a very similar speed and feel to maybe how a lot of Europeans would learn English just through like watching a lot of stuff like they're not doing it like that intentionally I kind of feel like that's what I started doing which isn't bad in and of itself it means it's very very low effort and very easy but I do know that if I'd put more effort in I would have more results but I don't know I kind of struggled with that for quite a bit um yeah but I suppose in the last just in the last like week or two I've been like well I can just focus on getting my comprehension up because that obviously still needs work um yeah what else is there do I have anything pronunciation hmm I do have a clip that I made a few weeks ago I wonder will this work of me I decided to read out the first page in I think it was the first page of Sophie's Welt just to give an example of like what my pronunciation is like or what it sounds like when I'm speaking but not have me speaking because like I said the speaking isn't that great I'm it's it's not at a stage where I'm like yeah I want to show everyone how cool I can speak you know it's not like I don't know it's not really that important at the moment um so I'll see if I can just play this um yeah okay Let's see wann irgendetwas aus null und nichts entstanden sein Sophie Amundsen war auf dem Heimweg von der Schule. Das erste Stück war sie mit Jorin zusammengegangen. Sie hatten sich über Roboter unterhalten. Jorin hält das menschliche Gehirn für einen komplizierten Computer. Sophie war sich nicht so sicher, ob sie dazu stimmte. Ein Mensch musste doch mehr sein als eine Maschine. Beim Supermarkt hatten sie sich getrennt. Sophie wohnte am Ende eines ausgedehnten Viertels mit Einfamilienhäusern und hatte einen fast doppelt so langen Schulweg wie Jorin. Ihr Haus schien am Ende der Welt zu liegen, denn hinter ihrem Garten gab es keine, an, keine weiteren Häuser mehr, nur noch Wald. Jetzt bog sie in den Kloververein ein. Ganz am Ende machte der... Okay, so that probably is as much as is needed. Um... I had practiced that a few times so I at least wasn't stumbling over my words. That's probably the best pronunciation that I'm able to do at the moment. Um, I mean it's okay. I I can hear it doesn't sound right but it's fine. I mean you know for I mean there's not a problem with it. I feel like it's okay. It could be a lot worse anyway but I'm not really you know working on that at all at the moment so yeah that's fine. Um, is there anything else that I want to say? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I did mention before that I'd gone back to college. Um, so I'm in like a full four year degree. The first year was like relatively chill. I was a little bit surprised as to like how chill it was. 
so I didn't feel that I couldn't put time into doing German stuff um I did obviously have to prioritize getting my work done so but it wasn't too much work so it was fine that might change later on depending um I do have the option to do an Erasmus in my third year uh, so that could be an option to go to Germany for like one term. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, oh my god. <laughs> and then. Dip, 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 dip. Podcast. I think that's all my notes. Yeah. So I think um, for the next while. Just want to work on getting a bit more like intentional about doing stuff and then read a bit more. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I'd be interested, you know, other people who have done like similar hours in the same amount of time as me, you know, like how does that compare? Because I, like I said before, I was kind of confused as to like, why are my results not the same as you know people who seem to be doing it the same amount of time and then I realized obviously I wasn't putting as much like focused time into things which explains things and that that's you know the only reason um I'm kind of okay with that now because I think if I had if I had tried to be much more intense about it I possibly could have burned out with it and I think if I hadn't found like immersion learning stuff I, I would not be at this stage 100% would not be because I just didn't enjoy doing like the learning stuff enough I would not have stuck with it I mean I might have gotten somewhere you know I might have been able to speak a bit but I doubt I would have been able to or wanted to like listen to full podcasts like that Herengedeck podcast love it it's great it's so funny would like love to go see them live you know like a lot of the stuff that I watch and listen to now I would continue to watch and listen to if for some reason I was like, I don't want to learn German anymore, you know? I would still like stick with a lot of the media that I'm like watching and listening to. Um, so on that hand, I need to remember to be like, okay, I've made a lot of progress, you know? I can watch stuff and I can watch like movies and TV shows. I, mostly it's fine. I do notice that like original... German movies and TV shows sometimes are quite difficult for me and I think it's a combination of like the way people speak in like TV shows and movies as opposed to the YouTube that's where I'm used to hearing all the native stuff right and obviously the vocabulary used in YouTube is relatively simple everyday stuff for the most part and then in films <clears throat> like some of the stuff I'd be watching would be comedy right so it's like how you're being funny with the language um that takes a lot of time to to be able to understand properly so I do find that kind of challenging and then just the speed at which people speak sometimes and because they mumble they don't speak as clearly um I do find that I noticed that there's a big there's a not a huge drop but there is a drop in comprehension definitely so that's probably an area that I would need to improve in um yeah I mean it's it's a decent level to have gotten to regardless of how many years I probably would have been surprised if I had uh, told myself that I would get to this level in like at all um and it's like I've gotten to this level and it's been like relatively I'm gonna say relatively like pain-free I don't feel like I've done tons and tons of like hard hard work you know um I've put in time but it's all been like enjoyable time I enjoy doing like the sentence mining and Anki when I do it you know I enjoy reading I enjoy watching stuff so you know having just put that sort of effort into this I'm like this is great this is like getting like you know like free language skills almost I'd, I don't know um and if there's anything that I would maybe learn again not learn again sorry um any other languages that I would maybe think about learning I don't know I I can't imagine myself going as like full on with something else because I don't see myself getting as like dedicated to something else but I think it would be interesting to learn or to see to see how like easy or 
see how fast I could make progress in something like Spanish for two reasons. One, that Spanish is probably a little bit closer to English or maybe has just more cognates and stuff like that. But also two being, I've already gone through it with German, so I feel like I'd be able to be more efficient with something like Spanish. Um, I'd also be interested, not properly to learn, don't get me wrong here, I'm not actually being like, oh, I want to learn like Korean or Chinese. I would be interested to learn a little bit about like the writing systems. Um, I wouldn't be interested enough to actually try and learn Korean or Chinese. Like, I'm not kidding myself. I don't care. I just think it's a little bit interesting with the writing systems. I think that might be something just, yeah, interesting to look into. Um, I mean, maybe if I started doing Spanish in like a year or two, I could get really into Spanish. Who knows? I mean, it seems a little bit unlikely. It might just be a fun little side thing. Um, once I reach a better level in German, like I do want, like <sighs> the level that I want to get to, um, obviously I want to improve the comprehension just that bit more so that it's more comfortable for me to read um, and maybe like watch native stuff. And then the main thing is getting better at like the output. Um, I do feel like I just need to get more more input more kind of like listening and reading to things um before that kind of comes a little bit more easily because like it is a little bit there but it's still spotty so yeah that's sort of where I am at the moment um just gonna continue on with what I've been doing so far trying to be a little bit more uh intentional about things if you put it that way it'll be good anyway so I think that is pretty much it. So yeah, I thought this was going to be relatively long and it has been relatively long. Um, if there's any questions that I that people are interested in asking, yeah, put them in the comments. I'll probably reply to all the questions. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll say I'll probably put timestamps in this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so I can't imagine I would be making... Uh, another update video anytime soon because uh, nothing is probably going to change that much so maybe in another year I don't know we'll see anyway cool I'll leave that thought then